Okay, so a few weeks ago I rewatched Endgame once again, but afterwards while I was in the shower where I do most of my critical thinking, I had this thought. There is no reason old man Steve Rogers should have or could have his Captain America shield, and this brought me on an interesting thought process as to how he could possibly have a shield in Avengers Endgame, so let's get started. To begin, Steve Rogers cannot have his shield at the end of this film. Thanos destroys his shield during the climatic battle where we find that our missed and beloved heroes are alive again. He also couldn't have taken it from the past because the whole point of him going to the past is to put that thing back where it came from also help me. You know. So, at least in my mind, there's only one explanation. And in short, that explanation is that this is a replica vibranium shield and not his original. And I know what you're thinking. Okay, big deal, so it's a different shield. Great video, I guess, guys over at Thunder and Lightning Gaming. You did it again! And that's what I was originally thinking when I thought of making this a video. But the notion that this isn't Cap's original shield goes so much deeper and gets much more interesting the further you go down the rabbit hole. They honestly could probably make a movie about what happens when Steve Rogers goes back in time, and I wouldn't be surprised if this was a plot point in that film. So Cap goes back in time, and let's assume shortly after the epic events of returning the Infinity Stones and the big reveal to Peggy Carter that he's still alive and the two get married, that he comes to the conclusion that he plans to dub Falcon as the next captain and needs a shield to present to him. The easiest person for him to get in touch with is Howard Stark, the original creator of the shield. Only one problem. Howard is under the impression that he used all the vibranium the world has to offer in the first shield. However, Cap knows better, obviously, and explains that Wakanda is a literal mountain of it. Using his knowledge of the future and the ins and outs of Wakanda's true form, Cap and Howard could probably not easily convince King T'Chaka that they would keep all of Wakanda's secrets till the time is right in the future, but all they ask for is enough vibranium to create the shield. After what would probably be a horrifying trip from Wakanda explaining to King T'Chaka how Cap has traveled through time and that's why he knows so much, he might reflect on what he could reveal to Howard. Perhaps even on the plane ride back, Cap could tell him essentially everything, including what a hero his son was. Cap could even reveal Howard's fate to him, explaining that it's necessary, and Howard being a Stark, and coming to the conclusion that he knows he must do what's right, accepts the information. However, before his demise, Howard could give Tony a touching goodbye that Tony had always hoped for, bringing some closure to the long and sad road of these two characters' history. And this could absolutely happen with no one being the wiser because regretfully both of these characters are now dead. So to bring things back to the modern day, the scene in Endgame where Steve Rogers is handing the shield and symbolically the title of Captain America over to Falcon, he asks him how it feels and Falcon says, So I couldn't find the footage for this scene anywhere online so please enjoy this recreation I made. He asks him how it feels, and Falcon says, Like it's someone else's. And Steve responds with, It isn't. Because it doesn't. Because it was made for Falcon and no one else. If not a movie, this could be a plot point in the Falcon and Winter Soldier show. So next time you're watching Endgame and you see this scene, remember what potential epic journey the shield may have taken to end up in the hands of the new Captain America. Alright, thanks so much for watching, I've been Lightning, you're on the Thunder and Lightning channel, be sure to subscribe, and uh, I haven't heard anybody else mention anything about what happened to Cap Shield in Endgame, so if you know anything or hear anything, please be sure to leave a comment. Alright, till next time guys.